It's so great to actually meet you. Thank, thank you for having me. No, you're very yeah. welcome. Um, to begin with, a huge congratulations for being one of Europe's um, shooting stars of 2021. Um, how does that feel? It feels great. I'm, I, I feel very excited about the whole thing. I'd like to talk to um, you about Orca. What got you into got you into the film? Um, why did you want to Why did you want to make it? It is um, the film is directed by Josephine Bornebush, who I knew quite well because we uh, we had done a show together for two two seasons, and uh, where she played my older sister and also directed. So it's one of those people that I really like to collaborate with, and we know each other by now. And she just called me and said that I had this crazy idea for this COVID safe film experiment and are you willing to come along for the ride and I was so uh that's how I got into it and then I mean it, it all happened very very fast she I think she wrote the script in like three weeks and we started shooting after four weeks and I only had one day of shooting all the actors only had one day each and so there was a lot of like re rehearsing and talking about the situations of the script and, and the characters beforehand and when we actually were there on the day it was such a fast-paced uh, shoot and uh, I really just had to try to so on like being present and uh, and uh, just throw myself out there like literally so um, yeah it, it was it was so, such a fun experience and and also like you know we that we were able to keep acting and tell stories during this situation was uh, it was amazing, and we all felt very safe. They did a great job. How has your lockdown been um, in Sweden, and how have you been able to sort of just get by through life? Like all over the world, it's it's there's been a lot of like facetiming with with friends and family and. Uh, and so on but i've been i've been so privileged and lucky in that i i have actually been able to do work uh, even though the situation is the way that it is and i i did I did work out in, in in like during the spring and then i went off and went and did another movie uh, during the fall and so i, I was very occupied by by work fortunately uh, but but uh it is strange and we just need to focus on like staying safe and protecting protecting like everyone around us and uh yeah it's it's weird times definitely how has sweden um handled the pandemic so far with with the uk we're going to be opening you know shops and pubs and everything um and facilities uh, on april yeah. 12th um uh, in april in sweden right now are shops open are leisure centers open um, or are you still all in a lockdown? No, we're not in a proper lockdown, and we never really uh, we never really went into a proper lockdown over here. It's like shops are open and and restaurants and cafes are are open, but they are not allowed to serve alcohol after eight pm and uh, everything is closed by eight pm and uh, and there's a lot of restrictions all over the place and uh, so, but we never went into the curfews or like a proper actual lockdown over here. Well, with the aftermath of the pandemic now with people being vaccinated, have you been vaccinated yourself or uh, um, how's the vaccination going along in Sweden? Um, I have I have not re uh, received the vaccine yet, um, but it's like, it's, it's, it's being, it, it, it's, um, I, I guess it's now it's it's being distributed and it, it's it's now it's focusing on the elderly and and the people who who uh, are in risk groups and, and and so on. But but uh, I definitely will get a vaccine when I when it when it comes to my my turn. An upcoming film you've got is called The Northman. Sorry, The Northman. Um, can you tell us a little bit about who you play in The Northman and a little bit about the story? The thing is that I, I don't really go uh, dare to go into details now about the plot or my character or my involvement in the okay. film, but but uh, it's an it's uh, it's Robert Eggers who directed the 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 Witch and the Lighthouse, and now he's doing this huge uh, epic film, and uh, it's a I can tell you that it's a revenge story, and I am very 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 excited to be part of that project. Just, you know, as a fan of Robert's and as a just a fan of 
cinema and film and and to yeah to be part of something on that scale was very very overwhelming and uh yeah just surreal it was by far the greatest adventure of my life so uh I'm excited for that one, that one to, to come out at some point. And lastly, just to get your opinion, um, people say that you're Sweden's answer to um, Timothy Chalmé from the US. Um, how do you take that compliment? I, I, I mean, that's that's a great compliment. Uh, Timothy Chalmé is, is, is great and I look up to him as I do with there's like so many cool actors and actresses now in, in, in my uh, generation now, born in, in the 90s. And he's definitely on a roll and I'm, I'm a fan. So it's, uh, that's, I, I uh, take that as a compliment. He's great. Excellent. Well, um, I don't know why though. It's like, yeah, we have brown hair, the two of us. And, and, but, but it's, uh, yeah, it's flattering. Thank you so much for talking to me and congratulations. Thank you for having me.